It's now been one week since the arrest of Sean Diddy Combs. Diddy is now at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn, a place that's been described as hell on earth. All right, let's dive into this story. Diddy, yes, Sean Diddy Combs himself, is currently sitting in a jail cell in Brooklyn. And this isn't your typical celebrity arrest for a DUI or something minor. No, this is way bigger. We're talking FBI-level investigations, stacks of allegations, and whispers of deals being made behind bars. But here's where things get spicy. The word on the street is that Diddy's ready to spill the tea. No, scratch that. Pour the entire kettle on his so-called friends to save his own skin. And at the top of that list, none other than Jay-Z. Now, let's back up a bit. Diddy's situation isn't new, but the level of seriousness this time? Unprecedented. The accusations go beyond what any celebrity publicist could brush off. It's not just about some wild parties, though those are definitely part of the story. It's about accusations involving drugging, intimidation, and assaults. And the kicker? It's not just him. There are whispers that some of the biggest names of entertainment might have been involved or at least knew what was going down. The feds are sniffing around and they want names. Here's where it gets really interesting. According to Derek Parker, aka The Hip Hop Cop, a former NYPD detective who used to patrol the rap and hip hop scene like it was his own beat, Diddy is facing some heat. Parker claims that Diddy's best move to get out of this mess might be to become what's called a king for a day. Basically, he spills the beans on everyone he knows to score a deal. And let's be real here, when you're staring down the possibility of decades behind bars, that deal probably looks pretty tempting. Now, why is Jay-Z's name popping up in all this? Well, Diddy and Jay-Z have been close for years. They've been at countless parties together, collaborated on music, and even celebrated each other's biggest milestones. But Parker hints that it goes deeper than just friendship. Apparently, Jay-Z was a regular at Diddy's infamous freak-off parties, these legendary events that everyone knew about but nobody talked about publicly, the ones where, let's say, certain boundaries were pushed way beyond the limit. So if Diddy's going down, who else might he take with him? Let's just say that Jay-Z is far from the only big name in his circle. Parker didn't hesitate to mention the other A-listers who are probably sweating right now, hoping their names don't come up in the investigation. We're talking household names like LeBron James, Chris Brown, and Kevin Hart. The list goes on. If Diddy decides to open his mouth, it's going to be a domino effect. But why would Diddy, one of the wealthiest figures in hip-hop, even think about flipping on his friends? Well, it's simple. He might not have a choice. When you're facing multiple accusations and hundreds of victims coming forward, the deck is stacked against you. R. Kelly, anyone? Look at how long he's doing time for, and that was just two cases. Diddy's looking at potentially dozens. The odds of him walking away unscathed slim to none. So if ratting on his friends keeps him from spending the rest of his life in prison, don't be surprised if he takes that route. But here's where it gets even juicier. Jay-Z isn't just sitting back and waiting for the storm to pass. Parker speculates that Jay-Z is already gearing up for the worst. He's apparently beefing up his legal team, preparing for any fallout that might come his way if Diddy's lips start flapping. And, oh yeah, there are rumors that even Beyonce isn't too thrilled about all this mess. You know it's serious when Queen Bee might be losing sleep over her husband's potential ties to a scandal this massive. But wait, what's really at stake for Diddy beyond jail time? Well, Parker suggests that even if Diddy manages to wiggle his way out of a long sentence by cooperating, the sheer amount of lawsuits, both criminal and civil, could drain his fortune. We're talking about millions of dollars, and not even his current net worth might be enough to survive this legal tsunami. He's already burned through one team of lawyers and had to hire a second set, charging $1,500 an hour. If the allegations keep piling up, he might be bankrupt before he even sees the inside of a courtroom. Think about it. Diddy, the man who once bragged about his empire of bad boy records, Ciroc Vodka, and countless other ventures might end up losing it all. And the lawyers? Oh, they're the only ones winning in this scenario. With every hour of their time costing thousands, they're cashing in while Diddy's wallet burns. So what's next for Diddy? 
And more importantly, what's next for Jay-Z and the others caught in this web? Parker seems confident that the story is far from over. He hints that Diddy's not going down alone. There's just too much at stake for him to take the fall all by himself. The power dynamics in the music industry are intense, and if Diddy has to drag a few big names down with him to save himself, that's exactly what he's going to do. And here's the thing, the FBI and prosecutors aren't playing. They know that a high-profile case like this one isn't just about Diddy, it's about sending a message. They want to show that even the biggest names in hip-hop and entertainment aren't untouchable. If they can get Diddy to talk, they'll have leverage to go after even bigger fish. So don't be shocked if this case ends up becoming one of the biggest scandals in the history of the music industry. But let's circle back to Jay-Z. If he was really involved or even just knew about what was happening, Diddy's betrayal could be devastating. The two have shared the stage, appeared at each other's parties, and been photographed together countless times. If it turns out that Jay-Z had any knowledge of Diddy's dark side, it could tarnish his legacy for good. And let's not forget, Jay-Z is more than just a rapper. He's a business mogul with interest in everything from sports teams to tech ventures. Any damage to his image could have ripple effects across his entire empire. So what does this mean for the future of hip-hop's two biggest moguls? Well, if Diddy decides to snitch, the fallout could be catastrophic. We're talking about careers potentially ending overnight. And not just for Diddy and Jay-Z. Anyone else tied to these allegations could find themselves on the chopping block. It's a crazy story, and we're only at the beginning. Diddy's in a tight spot, and if he's going to save himself, he'll need to play his cards perfectly. Will he flip on his friends to save his own skin? Will Jay-Z's empire crumble if Diddy's secrets come out? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, this is going to be one of the biggest scandals of the decade. But let's not forget, Diddy isn't just fighting for his freedom. He's battling to keep his legacy intact. This is a guy who spent decades building an image of power, luxury, and untouchable status. To turn around now and play the role of a snitch could shatter everything he's worked for. It's not just about losing money or facing jail time. It's about losing respect in a community where loyalty is everything. If Diddy flips, he'll face a different kind of backlash, losing credibility among his peers, fans, and even his business partners. And in an industry where reputation can be everything, the consequences of breaking the code could be just as harsh as any legal penalty he might face. And there you have it. Diddy might just be ready to rat out Jay-Z to save his empire and his freedom. But if he does, the hip-hop world may never be the same. What do you think? Is Diddy about to take down one of his closest allies, or will he find a way to keep quiet and still come out on top? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on this unfolding drama.